I am Beard Mobox, and Carson Palmer's uncharacteristic four interception performance against the Panthers in the NFC Championship round led me to making this video the top 10 worst quarterback performances of the last five years. To qualify for this, you don't have to do much more than have an awful game, and that's it. Oh, that and be a current player. Number 10 Drew Brees vs. the Atlanta Falcons in 2012. Drew Brees has 96 awareness, 89 throw power, 92 throw accuracy, 91 play action, 91 short throw accuracy, and 72 deep throw accuracy. In week 13 of the 2012 season, Brees turned in a zero touchdown and five interception performance against the Atlanta Falcons in a game which the Saints lost 23-13. It really was a rare blemish in Brees' otherwise excellent career. Number 9. Cam Newton vs. the Arizona Cardinals in 2013. Newton has 92 awareness, 97 throw power, 88 throw accuracy, 88 play action, 91 short throw accuracy, and 73 deep throw accuracy. In week 5, Newton had a day he won't have any fond memories of as he was sacked 7 times, one of them being for a safety. And on top of that, he threw 3 interceptions and no touchdowns. In fact, the Panthers didn't score any touchdowns, losing them 22-6. The Panthers actually led the game 6-3 going into the half. Number 8. Tony Romo vs. the Chicago Bears in 2012. Romo has 87 awareness, 89 throw power, 90 throw accuracy, 84 play action, 92 short throw accuracy, and 75 deep throw accuracy. This game took place in week 4, and Romo tied his career worst of 5 interceptions. He did throw one touchdown in the game that the Cowboys lost 34-18, but two of his 5 interceptions were pick sixes by Charles Tillman and Lance Briggs. This is certainly a Monday night football game that Romo was instantly hoping to forget. Number 7 Eli Manning vs the Seattle Seahawks in 2013 Manning has 87 awareness, 89 throw power, 80 throw accuracy, 84 play action, 85 short throw accuracy and 72 deep throw accuracy. This week 15 bout only went one way and the Giants were practically spectators throughout. On their way to winning the Super Bowl that year, the Seahawks shut out the Giants 23 to nothing. Manning was picked off a grand total of five times, throwing only for 156 yards on 31 attempts. Number 6 Russell Wilson vs the Green Bay Packers in 2014 Wilson has 92 awareness, 93 throw power, 91 throw accuracy, 81 play action, 91 short throw accuracy, and 77 deep throw accuracy. Many of you might remember last year's NFC Championship game, where the Seahawks came back from being down 16 to nothing at half time to winning the game. The game, however, was not a bright spot in Wilson's career as he threw four interceptions and passed for 209 yards with a completion percentage of 48%. He did throw the game-winning touchdown in overtime, which covered up an otherwise terrible display. Number 5 Andy Dalton vs the Cleveland Browns in 2014 Dalton has 87 awareness, 89 throw power, 89 throw accuracy, 77 play action, 89 short throw accuracy, and 75 deep throw accuracy. Imagine losing 24-3 to the Browns on Thursday night. Andy Dalton did just that in week 10 last season, throwing 3 interceptions and only compiling 86 yards with a measly 30% accuracy. Looking back at this performance, it's understandable that people doubted him before he really turned up this season before getting injured late in the season. Number 4 Joe Flacco vs the Buffalo Bills in 2013 Flacco has 80 awareness, 97 throw power, 84 throw accuracy, 74 play action, 81 short throw accuracy, and 66 deep throw accuracy. This was a surprisingly close game at 23 to 20, a game that the Ravens may have won if Flacco had thrown even one less than his total of five interceptions. Aaron Williams and then rookie Kiko Alonso both picked Flacco off twice, Alonso's final pick sealing the win for the Bills. Flacco did throw for 347 yards and two touchdowns, but you won't find many examples of a quarterback throwing five picks and winning the game. Number three. Matt Ryan vs the Arizona Cardinals in 2012. Ryan has 86 awareness, 90 throw power, 89 throw accuracy, 85 play action, 89 short throw accuracy, and 72 deep throw accuracy. This game goes against everything that I just said. Matty Ice threw five interceptions in this week 11 game against the Cardinals, but amazingly, the Falcons still won the game 23 to 19. 
The victory came in little thanks to Ryan who threw no touchdowns with the only two touchdowns coming off a one yard run and a defensive fumble recovery. This game will forever serve as proof that anything is possible even if you throw five interceptions. Number two. Carson Palmer versus the Carolina Panthers in 2016. Palmer has 98 awareness, 91 throw power, 93 throw accuracy, 84 play action, 98 short throw accuracy, and 80 deep throw accuracy. A sad day for Cardinals fans who had their hopes peaked after the Cardinals overtime heroics the week before. Palmer had a terrible day in a game which the Cardinals lost 49-15, allowing the most points they have all season. The Panthers forced six turnovers from Palmer in the form of four interceptions and two forced fumbles. One of those interceptions was a pick six thrown to Luke Keekley late in the fourth quarter. Number one. Peyton Manning versus the Kansas City Chiefs in 2015. Manning has 91 awareness, 83 throw power, 85 throw accuracy, 83 play action, 92 short throw accuracy, and 69 deep throw accuracy. This was the game that saw Manning be benched but not really benched in favour of Brock Osweiler. Manning's last of his nine regular season starts saw him throw four interceptions and no touchdowns, taking his record for the season to nine touchdowns and 17 interceptions. With a 25% completion rate, four interceptions and 35 yards, the Broncos chose to go with Osweiler in a game they lost 29 to 13 in week 10. Oh my God, play. Hey, you made it to the end of the video. If you haven't seen the previous video yet, you can do that by clicking here. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more, you can do that by clicking here and subscribing. New videos every Friday and Sunday, and sometimes Wednesdays too.